back, Jason Michelle here, Echo Nesters, and on today's Tuesday Tips, if you will, we're gonna be talking a little bit about condensation, some little tips and tricks on where to hang your towels, the reason that we would encourage you to hang them here, also in your bathroom, and what we're doing to control some of the condensation issues that you're naturally gonna have occur, whether you have an Echo, a Class B, a Class C, a Class A motorhome, anything that's gonna be out in the road that you're utilizing and you're dealing with different humidities, also different environments, whether it's extra cold outside, a little bit warmer on the inside. So let's talk about what we're talking about today. The Foya Mini Dehumidifier Charger here and its cartridges. So as I was explaining earlier, right now, these are charged, meaning they're ready to go. The silica beads basically have no moisture that they've accumulated. We know that because they're orange in color, kind of a salmon color. If they were black or a dark purplish green, that would mean that this cartridge needs to be recharged. The charger, as I was explaining, is pretty simple. It's a little base unit, plugs into 110 power. And if you do have, again, a B, a C, an Echo, you know that you have onboard power generally. And especially if you're driving down the road and things are recharging, you can place this in and within two hours of one of these cartridges, these little cartridges, and I'm gonna emphasize little. This is about seven and a half inches long, two and a half inches of diameter which is pretty cool because this will control or absorb moisture within 54 square feet of where it's placed. So pretty powerful little unit for its size. Now the little charger base uses approximately 50 watts of power and takes about two hours to recharge a single cartridge. Now, if you think about the fact that this is going to accumulate roughly four ounces of water based on about 80% humidity, relative humidity and about 86 degrees, that's that's pretty good the other thing i should probably bring up is you notice it's got a cylindrical shape here this unit actually absorbs moisture 360 degrees so you don't have to worry about which way it's placed and how you're placing it anywhere you want to place and we're going to talk a little bit more about that later it's going to work and be effective now when i was talking about low energy consumption and renewable to me that was key because there are a lot of products out there that utilize the silica beads and they place them in there and you take them out and sometimes you'll set them in the sun and the whole idea is that the moisture in there is evaporating. Well, depending where we're at and the type of environment we're in and the camping, etc., we may not have the power of the sun per se to get those little bags, if you will, um, to do their job or to recharge themselves. But as long as we have power, we can. Now, you might be asking yourself roughly how many days is this going to work and how often am I going to have to recharge it? My experience has been, I've run this well over four days and the beads were still orange. They claim between one and three days, four days max. But again, I think it also has to do with where it's being placed and what you're asking it to do. The kit that we purchased, which we have a, a link um, in our description, I thought was a good value. For $50 on Amazon, you're gonna get two cartridges and the recharging base. If you choose to order it with just a single cartridge, you're gonna spend $39. So for the extra $10, I thought, hey, it's more than worth it. Now, we demonstrated inside some places that you could place this, closet, drawers, cabinets, just about anywhere where you're trying to control humidity. Now, why are we in one of our favorite places of the Echo and one of the best designs they've done is the garage. Well, and why do we have a wet towel here? And why do we have a swimsuit? and a partially damp towel. And what are these tension rods doing here? Well, if you happen to have an Echo, you know part of the four season vehicle that it is, that the compartments have little vents that operate from the standpoint of allowing whatever the temperature is inside that you've set to, to go into these chambers or these garages or these compartments to keep them warm or at least uh, adapt to the climate that you're trying to set, if you will. So why would that be important? Depending what you store in your garage, whenever there's metal, especially a smooth surface, you're gonna accumulate moisture and water. Now, I wanna bring you in here for a moment because we kind of played this out on purpose. We were out and about this weekend, and if you notice, right here inside the garage, it's wet and moist. The other thing that I noticed is that the little molly rings are now starting to accumulate some surface rust. Now this surface rust that you're seeing is pre-cartridge, okay? We've had these for seven weeks 
and these problems were already starting to occur prior to us running this experiment. The other reason that I left this moisture in here is over the weekend, we were in and out of here quite a bit between the snow and the different climates we were in. I was placing my wet shoes in and out. I was taking gear on and off and I was using the garage as it was intended to be used. Yes, it comes with this really wonderful rubber mat, this plastic mat here, this tray, if you will, but we're still keeping moisture in here. And again, as we mentioned, we have the vent here. Sometimes we may forget to leave it open and it's closed, so we're not drying things up. This vent was closed by intention just to show that in the event that you forgot to do that, that that moisture is still trapped in here. And that is not something we want in any environment for healthy living or when we're trying to protect some of our tools. You'll notice that I have three cargo bags here. I keep a lot of gear in there. We can talk a little bit about that later. But inside these bags, I keep tools, tools that I don't want surface rust to be on. So what I'm encouraging you to do is if you pick one of these up and you get one with two cartridges, bare minimum, you'll have one or two cartridges for back here in the garage. You can hang a tension rod. You get back from the hot springs, the pool, the lake, the creek, wherever you're just enjoying yourself. And you wanna hang up your towels and your uh, swimsuits and other garments that have gotten wet rather than have to place those in the bathroom and crowd up some of the space, because we know space is limited in any of our vehicles and it's a premium, you can actually grab yourself a couple of basic tension rods and you can pick some of these up at, on Amazon. We'll have a little link for some suggestions in our description, but I'm gonna loosen this one. We know that this garage is roughly 30 inches wide. So this tension rod was designed to go between 28 and 46 inches of extension. You can obviously place it throughout anywhere you want. So what I chose to do is just, I would, I would call it uh, separate the uh, angles, if you will, or the heights of the bars. And this one, I have a very wet towel on, uh, just kind of give you an idea. There's water dripping out of that. This one was just slightly damp. And then we have our swimsuit. So let's say we just got back from the lake, wherever we hang up our towels, Obviously, I could have done a better job of hanging that up. But let's just pretend we're creatures of habit. We drop the stuff over. We shut our side compartment to our garage locker down. We have the rig up and running. We've got our vent open. These are going to begin to dry. But let's say that we start to close all compartment doors, and now we have moisture trapped. I'm sure in here is more than four ounces of water or moisture, if you will. So in the event that it is, we're going to fill this up pretty rapidly. But by placing this back here, and again, anywhere, you could sit closer to the unit. It could be here. I mean, you name the place depending on how you organize your life in your garage. And there you go. One canister or two canisters is going to begin to draw that moisture out. It's also not just for the towels, but again, for your tools, your barbecues, your fishing equipment, just things that are important to you. And especially, like I pointed out, this is factory stuff here, and it's already starting to turn color and if you will um, rust and to me that's a problem so one way to control it when you're not using these you might be wondering why I got a Ziploc bag I like to keep them in the Ziploc bag squeeze all the air out of them so that they stay freshly charged so again what did we cover today really quickly awesome garage if you own an echo simple $10 tension bars used to hang just about anything that you want utilizing one of the nice pieces of equipment that Echoes come with, which is a heated garage to dry your towels and or swimsuits. Controlling moisture, simple. Right here, this little cartridge, up to 54 square feet. It will cover and is used. It can use it in a drawer, a safe, uh, uh, again, a closet where you store food, different areas that you typically would consider keeping moisture out. We actually use it in our rear bedroom space as well. They are renewable dehumidifiers. Again, renewable meaning there's no waste here. Sure, you're using a little bit of energy about every four days to recharge it, but you don't have to dispose and throw away this cartridge. And it's just about the right size for place. You just place it anywhere you want in the cabinet, the cupboard, wherever. It doesn't take up much room. And you leave it in there, and that's gonna just do its job. That's simple. You can easily place this in amongst your clothing, your personal items, and it's there and it's gonna do its job. And again, all you need to do is inspect it every so often. If those beads go from, I'm gonna call it the salmon slash orange color to a dark purple slash black, 
Some folks see them as green color, then you know it's time to recharge, which is as simple as plugging in the base. This is the recharging base. It's self-monitored, draws very low energy consumption. You place it on there, it does its job, and within two hours, the cartridge is ready to use again. You can place it even in your lower closet area at least too. Let's say you have your swim trunk because we were just at the hot springs. You might have some wet towels. Um, you might be drying a sweatshirt because you were walking through the rain. Why not right here in your restroom, anywhere that you like. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for spending some time with us on this. And next week we're gonna be covering what do we carry in our gear bags here. And again, you can find a link in our description for these bags. We love them. Quite a few people have been ordering them since we started showing them. You wouldn't believe what you can keep in those. They stack up nice and they also can press down to smaller sizes. And again, we'll cover more of that later. So I hope this was helpful. Enjoy the rest of your day. If you have any comments, please feel to share. If you've got tips and things that you've been doing to control such things and or improve your experience when out on the road, share it. Let's get into it together. Let's open a discussion. Till then, be safe and happy travels.